With the introduction of papyrus kill paper, uh, a lot of controversy rose and a lot of debate and discussion about how different it was from thin fire and whether it was in any way different. Many people insist it isn't. Uh, to demonstrate the difference between the thin fire and the papyrus, I did some identical tiles fired in the same kill load using thin fire on one and papyrus on the other. So you can clearly see the results after the firing. These two tiles were fired to full fuse. The black one was fired on the thin fire and the white one fired on the papyrus. I'm just uh, taking the tiles off and you can see when I scoop up the thin fire paper it all shreds and comes apart and when I scoop up the uh, papyrus it stays intact in one solid piece. In this project I did tack fuse. The blue tile was done on thin fire and the white tile on papyrus and you can see when I'm scooping up the thin fire it all comes off into powder and the papyrus stayed intact. I just flipped it over like a pancake. As you can see from the results the thin fire turned to powder and the papyrus stayed intact. It would have been easy to reuse the papyrus. You could have put another piece of glass on it without disturbing it. And also where the thin fire turned to powder and had to either be swept out or vacuumed out, the papyrus could be picked up by hand or just scooped out with a pancake flipper.